Okay, let's talk about Payday 3. Hi, I'm Chaos. And what happened to Payday? Payday 3 launched with suboptimal performance, and it just kind of left a bad taste in everybody's mouth. It just seemed like a cash grab at that point. But it's been a while since the launch and the complete disaster that it was. I mean, just look at this. This is my day one footage of Payday 3. And that, that's all the launch was, was just the loading screens. It seems better now. It seems like it's in a better place. I guess I should fairly judge it, even though the launch kind of skewed everybody's opinion. I feel like I should just give this game a chance anyway. They did a few things right with Payday 3. The combat feels immensely better. The weapons actually pack a punch in this game, and it doesn't feel like you're trying to shoot a nerf gun. And the best part is the optics actually work in this game, and they're not trash, which, which is kind of nice because now you can actually see where you're shooting. They released all this DLC for mods in Payday 2 but they couldn't make a good optic? How? And the weapon system of leveling up your weapons is just, it's amazing. Now, I know most people hate that part of this game, but I think it's actually a welcome improvement. I mean, you don't get a start by trying to hope you get your best luck opening a payday card at the end of a heist. You actually have to play the game to unlock mods, which is perfect. It's not reliant on hoping you get the mod you're looking for. All the weapons actually do something interesting, which is good. Every weapon has a purpose. The assault rifle can shoot through the shield, while only the glass on the shield. The shotgun's good for crowd control. The SMGs if you want to annoy your friends by never being at the objective. Now, I did play through all the heists in this game, and surprisingly, almost all of them have something different happening. They each have their own objective that feels different from the other one, other than just grab bag and go. And I guess I shouldn't be surprised considering they made Payday 2, and almost all the heists in that were fantastic. But looking at the other aspects of this game, you can see how I think that they could have failed that. And they made a lot of good improvements to this game. I mean, trading the hostages for time is perfect unless you start your objective early then that timer's gone they just immediately start assaulting you or you shoot a hostage in the head don't do that one but all the enemies are just kind of the same as before i thought there would be more enemy types but it just seems like the same game as before with better combat and there's nothing wrong with that except for the other things that they did to this game that made it not as good of a successor to Payday 2. And I was really hoping that they recaptured the glory of Payday 2. And they almost did. They almost had it. It's not their fault for wanting to double down on the perk decks. It doesn't add more to the game. The perk decks in Payday 2 were a good supplementary skill. But now they made all your skills based off of perk decks. And it just feels kind of lazy. I mean, you get to choose all these different perk decks that you could build. You have to unlock them all. And it's great. But... It just feels like they were trying to avoid balancing your levels. Whereas in Payday 2, you had all the skills unlocked. You just had to level up to unlock skill points. And it doesn't make sense why they made this change. And it makes the combat feel so similar no matter which route you go. And they got rid of the amazing crime that UI. Now you just select all your heists and how you want to do it. There's no xp bonuses or anything they streamlined it so much that it's just not even enjoyable the best things were to just sit in the menu and hope you get a good heist that pops up and if it doesn't i mean choose the next best one if it has a good xp rate but they wanted to streamline it so now you don't have all these menus to go through they nailed how to choose your next heist but they just wanted to get rid of it they didn't want it in this game anymore was it too confusing a little but it was the best way to have diversity in all of your heists no we got to make it easier for everybody new who's coming into this game that ui wasn't difficult they also got rid of offline play you can only play this game if a server is open you can't have peer-to-peer -peer connection anymore what did they do why did they make this game well always online did they just want to make their point like oh look at this you guys can't get one by us. Who cares? Who cares? The The point of Payday is to just have an enjoyable time doing heists. But they want to take all the enjoyment away of this game, make it into a complete shell of itself, and call it good. That That's good, right? Look at it. Look at this new Payday game we released. Don't you guys love it? And they got rid of the drill. The drill is not that important in this game anymore. It's interesting because the drill used to be the staple point of Payday. The drill and the six-minute timer. You go through a door and then you have to do another six minute timer. You use it sometimes, but it's all for about a minute, 30 seconds. And that's the only time you use it throughout the entire heist. I mean, there's one where you use a thermal drill and that takes about three minutes, but it just doesn't feel the same as it used to. I assume they're going to add more heists with the drill in it, but I'm trying to figure out if it's even worth it now to get this game because they can have all these promises and they can turn it into a fantastic game. But at the end of the day, what is it like now? Is it even worth it? They're asking for more money out of you. Get more DLC to make the game more enjoyable. You release seven heists at the start and you want more money? 
to release more heists. Payday 2 didn't launch with a lot of heists, and that's okay. But it seems like the way that they're approaching this is to release like four heists a year and then release tailor packs and all of these weapon mods and all these weapon packs when they should just really be focusing on the community. But instead, they just wanted to release the game, get more money in their pockets so they could keep funding the game. And it's just kind of bad. Are they really that desperate for it? They, they, they lost the title for Payday. They got it back. But why center your game around this? Payday the Heist only had eight heists in it. Actually, I think it may have been a little more than that. But they didn't release DLC for it. They're making it their whole MO of releasing heists that are locked behind paywalls. And it's kind of sad to see how much they're charging for all these heists so you can have one extra mission and two guns. Or maybe, maybe, just maybe, you get a, a new piece of outfit. Really, this is where the entire thing came to. Payday 3 is not really worth it. It's It's got the Destiny mentality where you have to keep buying stuff to make it more enjoyable. There's plenty of other games out there that you just do one-time purchase and you're good to go for years. They just want to keep taking your money. And it's just kind of sad to see at this point. I don't want to give them my money anymore. I'm tired of it. Am I still gonna get, am I still gonna give them my money? Uh, yeah, of course. At the end of the day, this game is just I think it's finally gonna be over after this. And they released it on Game Pass, which is good, but are they gonna release all the DLCs on Game Pass too? It's just a cash grab. It is just a cash grab. Hey, if you made it this far in my video, thank you for watching. Make sure to leave a like on this video. If you don't like my slander of Payday 3, leave a dislike. I, I don't really care. Do what you want. If you like this video, you'll probably like my other videos. There's a very high chance of it. Make sure to subscribe. It really helps out a lot. Thanks for watching.